sure that they don't be chewing on my components. You know what I mean? Ladies and gentlemen, sometimes it's necessary to heal the world. Ladies and gentlemen, why do we keep straying? Ladies and gentlemen, that's Michael Jackson, and he's singing about healing the world. Hey, where did Penny go? Max, go get Penny. Max is looking at me because they are trying to figure out if I'm talking to them, if I'm talking to y'all. They they haven't worked that out. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we can get there. I just want to let you guys know that somebody sent me a video that I did, and this video was done in about, I believe it would have been 2013. This was the time when I was in that facility and the police officer got killed. Um, the corrections officer, the lieutenant, because he had interfered with one of the high-rolling gang members. And Puerto Rico, as I've said to you guys, they have four gangs, the Nectas and the Vente Cinco's, Vente Uno's, and the Torenta Uno's. Ladies and gentlemen, these are not your simple gangs. Puerto Rico is the quintessential place of individuals who, when they are involved in gangs, don't care about life. But when they are in jail, they seem to care a little bit more. However, like with most gangs, people need approval. They need somebody to say it's okay to do what you do. They need to do something with other people on their side, other people joining their ranks. But enough about that. Ladies and gentlemen, the person sent me a copy of an audio I did where Francis recorded it. And when Francis recorded this, I was talking about two things. I was talking about reversionary interest. Ladies and gentlemen, non-citizen nationals, non-citizen nationals, or let's not use the word non-citizen, let's use the word American national. I prefer American national. What about you? Like I told people, I am native to the soil of America. I was born in California. I was not born in the United States. I was born in California. California is its own sovereign state. Now, it is important that we understand that California is its own sovereign state. So let me play a little bit of that audio so that y'all can hear what I'm talking about. Because sometimes people don't understand. Like them parents, you know. It's, it's hard to get parents to understand. So sometimes people don't understand. And so we're going to play it for y'all so y'all can hear it, okay? I got to um, – <laughs> I don't want to open it that way. I got to go back to the to the email so that I can play it. Even though I downloaded it, pay attention, even though I downloaded it the way it's downloaded on the phone because I downloaded it on the phone because he sent it to me, I don't have a copy of all of the Ring Central – I mean, not Ring Central, the Legal Redress Commission videos the Reader's Right videos. Ladies and gentlemen, like then, like now, I posted it on Legal Redress Commission, and to get back at me, they deleted everything. I I didn't mind them keeping it up because it just kept bringing all the attention to me. It didn't bring attention to them, even though I kept saying Reader's Right, Reader's Right.org, Reader's Right.com. If you continue to have heard me say that, it didn't bring attention to them. It was bringing attention to moi. And because that was the case, then that was the case. You know what? It's not letting me play it, so I'm going to have to go to my download folder because, again, I downloaded it to the cell phone this morning. And because I downloaded it, downloaded it, 
yeah, downloaded it. Because I downloaded it, um, I got to go to my file folder. File folder. I got several different file management folders. They're not all the same. That's, they're not supposed to be the same. That's why they're mine. Okay. There is something that was talked about in that particular audio. And ladies and gentlemen, I just need y'all to understand because it's kind of difficult for some people to get this. I talk about a lot of things. Let me make sure that you guys understand. Not only do I talk about a lot of things, pay attention. Global telling. I want you to do me a large favor. Can I interrupt anything? No. Okay. I want to take this 15 minutes and post. Before I go on, this is Francis, that uh, young lady in the background. That's Francis. Francis is one of the most unique women I've ever met. And she's a very strong woman. She doesn't think so. But Francis is a very unique and strong woman. Francis has been through a lot. And you know what? Despite everything that Francis has been through, this mild tempered, very, very soft spoken person, Francis is not dogmatic for the systems who have done what they've done to her, a former uh, officer of the court, uh, is, it, it, it doesn't make any sense. And while I was in Puerto Rico, Francis, more than anyone else, took the time to assist me with assisting you guys. Francis, typing her 100,000 words per minute, would type up documents. There's a young lady who we made the CEO and owner of SAA who did the exact same thing, and that's why she was rewarded with ownership of SAA. Why? Because she showed her loyalty to this day. Francis, to this day, very loyal person. So I just definitely wanted to say to you guys, if you were wondering about Francis, Francis is doing okay. Her and her husband are making a go at it. They're, they're not in the very best position, but I want to let you guys know that we know that many of you are not in the very best position. But I want to show you who this Brett Jones character is, this Eon character is, this redress, redress right character is. Let's go ahead and take care of it. Now, look. There are a lot of crackheads out there that want to talk about me in the negative. These crackheads don't even know me, <laughs> but yet they want to talk about me. They want to have an opinion about me. That's fine. Let the smoked out, chemical sniffing and inhaling sons of prostitutes have their day. The, the, you know, the only problem is, it's not about pride. It's not about they won't say that to my face because if they did, I would roast them. Look, there's a comedian, and I hadn't heard from him in a while, and I said his name is D.C. Curry. And so I listened to a little bit of D.C. Curry last night. And D.C. Curry, Don D.C. Curry, D.C., Don Curry. <laughs> anyway, uh, D.C. Curry, ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Michigan himself, I thought his comedy when I first heard him was nobody did comedy like D.C. Curry. And the way he would do his skits and he would just go on and on and on and on and on and the sarcasm, nobody is like D.C. Curry. Let's just say that so that everybody and their grandfather knows. And there would be people, I mean, he would roast anybody. God, I mean, he talked about Michael, he talked about OJ, I, this man done talked about everybody, Cat Williams, he done talked about everybody, and it was all jokes, never serious. He would talk about you if you were sitting in the stand, okay? But I was listening to D.C. Curry, and I just need all of you to know it's never about keeping it real. Dave Chappelle showed you guys that there are a lot of things that happen when keeping it real goes wrong. This is not about keeping it real. This is me letting you know that 
there are a lot of idiots out there who want to say negative things about me so that they can get more viewers because negativity brings stupidity. And so all the stupid people will go and listen to the negativity. When I keep talking about my people, and I do mean my people, my people don't listen to those idiots. My people will tell me, I don't care about your past. I'm interested in the information. My people will say, you know what? You changed. You said you changed. I can see you changed. Man, don't worry about them. Don't worry about that. I got your back. That's my people. And certainly they are. Why would my people not have my back? Why would my people not want to listen to junk that ain't from my videos? Why would my people listen to conversations about me that they know ain't coming from me? Why would my people listen to people say negative things about me and think that that junk is true? My people know that if something was to be said about me, that they would hear it from me, that I would own up to it, fess up to it. Somebody said I did something, I'd sit up there and admit it. You know why? Because my people understand integrity. <sighs> Ladies and gentlemen, uh, before I go on with playing that video, I want to let you know at SACCOM and about three days I'll be doing a video letting you know that we'll be bringing on more people to assist. I've Over the past seven months, five people are no longer part of the organization. Uh, many of them I've had to let go because there was no choice. Um, prior to that, over the year prior to that, five other people, no, six other people gone. Four of them tried to take over the organization while I was on vacation. Didn't tell you guys a lot about that, but yes, they tried to form a coup. One person actually went about trying to get the other members of the organization to get rid of the CEO of the organization who was there when I left. The same thing that Ron did. I'm sorry, ladies and gentlemen, but Max is standing at the door. And when Max goes and stands at the door, he doesn't bark. When he goes and stands at the door, that means he's got to go outside. So give me a second, okay? Okay. The doggies are outside playing in the cold. It is about... 45 degrees outside. They can handle it. They have jackets on. I got a jacket. They got jackets on so they can handle it. Yeah, they they have a custom jacket. You know what I'm saying? Made to fit just them. Uh, fur, people. Fur! Uh, ladies and gentlemen, this is the type of information I put out before. I want to let you know that this, the information that I was talking about at that time, I barely remember any of it. Like I told you, I don't hold on to stuff, but watch this. Matt, so if you can record this conversation and have uh, him put it on the net ASAP, okay. because I think that okay. information is important. What Ben, Fred, Yogi, and uh, Steve have all been saying is correct. Uh, it's coincides with all the research that I've been doing. The thing about the reversionary interest, according to Title 12, which is the bank. Now, do you guys remember reversionary interest? If you don't, I now have a better understanding. I, I told you we've been talking about trust this whole time. So let's do a little bit of thing about reversionary interest, shall we? Before, before I let, I'm not going to play that audio, okay? I don't know where those videos are. I don't know where those videos are. But I do know that the information is accessible. I don't think it's that one. I do know, I think it might be this one that it's in. Give me a second. We got to go here. No, it's not this one. So would it be this one? I don't know. It's not this one because it's the last one. That's QuickBooks, y'all. Uh, this is it. In there, I talk about going here. Type online, ladies and gentlemen. Online Declaration of Independence Signing. Just, just type that in, and you're going to go to archive.gov. 
Now, that is the United States government's website. We can go to archive.gov. Want y'all all to follow me. Follow me, one quick C. Hate me. Uh, anyway, I want y'all to follow me. Okay? Ladies and gentlemen, choose your penmanship style. You know what you get to do, ladies and gentlemen? You get to sign and become part of the Declaration of Independence. Hold on! Now y'all need to understand where I'm going with this. Now you get to become one of the people of the United States, and then you do the Electronic Signature Act. Pay attention to me when I say this. You get to become one of the people and let them argue with you on this. Hold on. We're going to do the Brett Jones. Watch this, because we're going to do all three of them. Uh-oh, give me my hyphen. That, that, that. Uh-oh, not that hyphen, that hyphen. But then we go. There are three different spellings to the name. Did that on purpose. Okay, are you sure you want to sign the Declaration of Independence? If you've been a member of the Second Continental Congress, if you have been a member of the Second Continental Congress, you were a rebel and considered a traitor to the king. <laughs> you knew that a reward had been posted for the capture of certain prominent rebel leaders. Uh-oh. Sovereign citizens? Anybody? Y'all don't want to be a sovereign citizen? So don't be a sovereign citizen. Be a rebel! Anyway, I'm kidding. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, I want to sign. Sign your name across my heart. I want you to be my rebel. Sign your name across my heart. Ladies and gentlemen, I just signed the Declaration of Independence. Do y'all want to sign the Declaration of Independence? Sign for your mama. Sign for your daddy. Sign for your brother. Sign for your sister. Sign for your mother. Sign it, ladies and gentlemen. Become a part of the United States of America because the Declaration of Independence is for the United States of America <laughs> in its organic sense. Now, the reason why I am suggesting that you go to archive.org and you put your electronic signature, you know what? As a matter of fact, hold on. We're going to... I'm going to do that declaration, but I'm going to show y'all how to do the declaration the right way. Okay? Uh-uh. We're going to do the electric, because this is online. We don't want to do that declaration. Come on now, give me my screen back. All right, you done copied it already. Lord have mercy. Give me a second, y'all. Let me get rid of that. Get rid of that. Go, got to go, got to go, got to go, go, go. Robin Harris, got to go. Okay. I mentioned Robin Harris to somebody yesterday, and apparently he understood. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, I got so much work to do. All right. I want y'all to watch this so that y'all pay attention. I want y'all to sign your declaration this way. F colon, uh, excuse me, F forward slash colon. That's how I want you to sign your name from this point forward. Okay? This is how I want you to do your declaration of independence. And a matter of fact, Guess what? Comma. F. Forward slash. Colon. I'm going to do it one time. Ain't no need of me uh, doing it five times. Uh, uh, different copies. And then we're going to put C C O N. And then we're going to do. And I got to. You know what I got to do? I got to put this division. Got to do that. Semicolon because the semicolon separates the characters. And then we're going to do, let's see, what's the other one? Uh, Eon, then we're going to just do Brett. Because, you know, they like to do it without the deals. And ladies and gentlemen, I would do redress right and all of that stuff because those are names that I've gone by, but these are the titles I've gone by. And so, you see, I'm pushing, yes, I want to sign this mother, so would you hurry up, please, because I ain't got all day. 
that, that, that this is a declaration of independence. Ladies and gentlemen, you must understand what a declaration is. Declaration is similar to an affidavit. And when you sign a declaration, and because this is an electronic signing, and this is with the government, see? Look at that. Electronic signature. Oh, I messed up. Oh, I can't do it. Uh, the last one, Brett Jones, is not an electronic signature. It's just a space. Hoo-wee, I'm glad I caught that. Now, you guys got to do the electronic signature. Do you know why you got to do the electronic signature? Because the electronic signature is cognizable in law as a valid signature. By fixing your name to the document, it meant that you pledged your life, your fortune, and your sacred honor to the cause of freedom. No, it didn't mean that you pledged it to the cause of freedom. It meant that you were one of the people of the United States of America. Look, the unanimous declaration of the 13th state United States of America. Now, this is why people do United, lowercase, states of America. Okay? Look at how they did it. Now, that's why you see people doing it that way. Okay? But... Let me make sure you guys understand. United, that's a capital U. It's just lower and smaller than the other U. Hold on now. U, that's right, U. Use what? Use a mother. Uh, okay, see that United right there? That has a line on this side of the U. Okay, that makes it a capital U. Some of you guys don't understand that about U. Once you, a U... Once you add that line, that's not a lowercase. Yeah, I know it looks lowercase, but that's not a lowercase. Go back and look at how you are done. Use mother. Uh, excuse me. Let's see. Where's another you? You, 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 you. See that you right there? Mm -mm. Look at how you's are done, y'all. You don't have a line, especially when you're writing in manuscript. Mama, mama, mama. What's he mean by manuscript? Is he trying to write a play or something? So, well, ladies and gentlemen, I'm glad that I'm recording my signing the Declaration of Independence, and I'm glad that I'm doing it in front of witnesses. Oh, snap! You know what I'm saying? So, ladies and gentlemen, you want to become a signature to the... Well, I don't think you can become a signature to the Constitution, but if you attach it, I would actually do the Bill of Rights. These are archive.org. Do you guys know who? Look, apply for a grant. That's right. This is the government, ladies and gentlemen. This is the government. Government. It's the government, I tell you. So, hold on. And I've done several videos on the Banking Act of 1862. 1864, 1865, as well as 1933. All of this deals with the Emergency Banking Act, and each time they came up with a stupid act in regards to a so-called national financial crisis. So, what I've written down is this. It all boils down to this. We are not warring with anyone. We are not in conflict with anyone. We are peaceful. We are messengers of peace. Agents of peace, and we must let them know that we are not belligerent because they're using the October 6, 1917 Act. It's called the Trading with the Enemies Act, but the official name is the October 6, 1917 Act. And it lists individuals as combatants. That's why they listed all of those people in Guantanamo Bay as unlawful combatants because they needed to put them under a certain law. I was, in the past, I was wondering why did they call them unlawful combatants when they're prisoners of war? They claim the reason they did it was because they were out of uniform. No, they did it according to the Trading with the Enemies Act. And that's why they are holding them there indefinitely until those individuals announce that their purposes and their actions are peaceful. And so okay. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm downloading the Bill of Rights. I will affix electronic signature to the Bill of Rights. Okay. What eventually I will do is I will create a online website 
for individuals to file their, and I know other people have done this, we will do it differently, for individuals to upload their documents to the website and file their documents online and post their documents. Okay, however, there are a lot of people who <laughs> think they know law, and so they add all kind of junk. To their documents and you, you're free to do that but we're not going to be that type of site where we post manifestos or people saying things that are completely not within the scope of law and the unique thing about it people do that all the time I have seen it people have tried to do that with SACCOM now the first thing we did is we we showed you archive.gov and you're going to go to Declaration of Independence Okay, and I've already showed you, you're just going to type in, it says, join the signing. This is the government telling you that you can sign this document. Add your name and become a signer of one of America's finding, uh, founding excuse me, documents. Okay, this is archive, it's the United States National Archives and Records Administration. This is a government website ladies and gentlemen okay this is an official government website can nobody call you know uh, anything that they want to call you this is what the government permits many of you have already known about this I would suggest that you file this with your documents on the record with the court I would suggest that because this is where it talks about equal protection of law Whoa, I can sign the, the Constitution. Ah, yes! That's what, I, that's what I'm talking about, Mama. That's what I'm talking about. Y'all need to understand. That's all I'm doing is I'm going to be signing. And I, ooh, it says sign, to, to select one. Do you want to sign the Constitution? You better believe I want to sign the Constitution. That's right, I want to sign. I didn't know you could do this, ladies and gentlemen. You saw I was going to just sign it, but I would love to sign the Bill of Rights, but this is not. This is the Bill of Rights, ladies and gentlemen. This is the Constitution for the United States of America. These are the articles. They were articles at first. They weren't just uh, what you call it, okay? And you better believe I want to sign this document of the United States of America's Constitution. There you go. We're going to put all of my names on there. I want to do it differently, though. You see how the names are too long? So let's see if I can take this name and do that. And then take this name and do that. What I'm doing is I'm trying to hit Enter. I don't know if Enter is going to let me do that because it's a lot. You know what I'm saying, Vern? And I don't think this thing is set up for doing Enter. But, again, I changed my name. So because I changed my name legally and within the state of California's laws, I've changed my name. It wouldn't let me do it, y'all. It just wouldn't let me do it. Okay? Just wouldn't let me do it. But by all means, I'm going to print this document up. I mean, I'm going to download the image of my signing this document which will document that it's been from this website. Okay, I'll rename each of the documents because you see they have the numbers. So I'll rename the documents, and I'll even add the same signature to the Bill of Rights. I don't care if my name goes over somebody else's name. I do not care if my name goes over somebody else's name. Please. These individuals were signing over each other. I don't care my name goes over somebody else's name. What I want to have happen, that's what I said I want to have happen, is for them to recognize that I was not no unlawful combatant. I'm a signature to the Constitution. I've accepted that document. Okay? That's what I wants to happen. Okay? And, and, and if you really want to, because y'all ain't got as many names as I do, watch this. If you really want to throw a twist and a spin, watch this. 
I'm just going to do Eon. Come on now. Go on back. Get rid of you. Watch this. Y'all going to love me. Come on, one more. I do. Let's get rid of that. Now watch this. Y'all gonna love this. See an exclamation mark and then parenthesis, uh, well, parenthesis and then quotation, and parenthesis and quotation. There you go. Now you a signature. Uh, now you affirm and you attest. Now it becomes an affirm of David. Oh, mama, look what he's doing. Because that's how I do it. Okay. This is how we do it. This is how we do it. Y'all better hurry up because they might change <laughs> the way this allows you to add information. Okay? They might change it to where it limits the number of characters you can put in there. All right? I just want to make sure it did it the way I want to do it. I do hereby affirm and attest. Eon! Yeah, Eon! That's my homie, y'all. I know that mother... Okay. Do y'all do, do see what I just did? Now, I'm going to download this mother. Okay, because this is the way it's got to be. It's a declaration. It's a declamation. Because the principles of the Constitution, I don't have any um, disagreements with. It's a contract. And because the government allows you to become a signature to this contract, I want to be one of the people. I want to be able to say, rebut this presumption. This is a declaration. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm doing this in public. If anybody thinks I don't have the right to do this, hey, let them rebut me in public. But I do like to give people an opt-out provision, so I may add that stuff later. Okay? But I don't care because in order for them to say that I'm not part of the Declaration of Independence, they'd be saying I'm not part of the United States. That's all I need them to say. The moment you say I'm not part of the Declaration of Independence, you're saying I'm not part of the, uh, the United States of America. If I'm not part of the United States of America, what is your jurisdiction? can't say international because I don't have a treaty with you. You just said I am not part of it. So that means I don't have a treaty. Ladies and gentlemen, as we go on, I just want to let you all know I built a makeshift uh, housing for the dogs, and it's not much. It's just... I took two pieces of plywood, and I, well, two pieces. I took one four-foot by eight-foot piece of plywood, and I cut it in half. Hold on, y'all. I got to answer this. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, that was the first thing. Now, that we've gotten all of that out of the way, I'm going to turn my music back on because y'all know me, I can't live without my music, and the problem is my system keeps going back to, no, I don't want the old uh, stupid polling, sorry, that's iHeartRadio, uh, let's see if I can get Mr. Weekend to play, no, he is playing, Dag Nabbit, and my system ain't connected, so I gotta connect it again, and that should not be Okay, so Weekend is going to be playing in my background. If they let them play, because, yeah, it's playing, and it's not playing. So I don't understand what's going on with my music, because it says that it's connected, but it ain't connected, y'all. It says it's connected, and it's active, and everything is connected. So let's do media again. Nope, ain't connected. So I can't even play my iHeart music, because it don't want to play through my Bluetooth, 
and I need my Bluetooth. Oh, you know what? The volume. No, the volume ain't down. The volume is all the way up. I can't have the volume all the way up on this. Uh, give me a second. There he go. He, he he's talking about he can't feel his face. Somebody help that man, because if he can't feel his face, that means that it's he's probably freezing to death. It's winter time, so somebody help that man feel something. Ladies and gentlemen, the first thing, as I said, Declaration of Independence and the Constitution, I didn't know you could sign the Constitution on here. Well, actually, you know what? I think I did. I think I've already – I've done it before, but I didn't have the mindset. I did it in 2012, and I did a video talking about this, but I did not know, pay attention, what I know now, and I don't, didn't have the mindset that I have now. Okay, but what I want to tell you guys, what I need you all to understand, I, you know what, let's see, I wonder if I could add the Bill of Rights, because I'd love to sign the Bill of Rights. So let's, let's do this, founding document, because I don't even know how I got the, the Constitution up here. Y'all need to understand that, see, I hit, did I do the Bill of Rights? I think I did the Bill of Rights. Yeah, that's how I got the JPEG. So what I want to do is the founding document. So let's do the Bill of Rights. Okay. Ladies and gentlemen, in life, we all have our opinions. And we technically are entitled to our opinions. Okay, that doesn't mean that we're right. doesn't mean we're wrong. It just means we're entitled. I was having a conversation with someone yesterday. Give me one second. Sorry. I was having a conversation with someone last evening, and the conversation was on a particular subject. I'm not going to tell you about the subject because that's not the important part, but... I told the individual in these words, my God does not allow me to operate that way. Ladies and gentlemen, if any of you know me, you know that I am one of Jehovah's Witnesses. If any of you know me, you know that when I say my God, and if I tell you my God does not permit this or permit that, there's nothing that you can say that will change that statement. So the statement was, well, we serve the same God. Excuse me. My God does not permit me to operate that way, is how I said it. If we're serving the same God, then your God would not permit you to operate that way. Ladies and gentlemen, we all do not serve the same God. It is just that simple. If we serve the same God, then he would not have within those first ten words it's called the Ten Words. You refer to them as the Ten Commandments. He would not have, among the first words, not to have any other gods before his face. So he documents right there that there are other gods. Sorry, I don't need to take you to any other verse of the Bible. Okay, the Bible doesn't contradict itself. If he makes one statement in the Bible and you can find another statement to back that up, then you better believe there's another statement to back that up because he has not changed. Now, what am I trying to say here? Well, what I'm trying to say, and I really am trying to say, is a lot of people are misunderstanding. Okay? A lot of people are not understanding. This is not about religion. My God is not a religion. I don't serve a religion. I serve a God. My God calls himself the only true God. Well, my God says he's the only true God, too. Well, then you should be doing exactly what I'm required to do. So why aren't you? If our gods were the same, why aren't you knocking on people's doors and telling them about his kingdom? Because you don't know about his kingdom. So how can you tell somebody about his kingdom? Well, didn't Matthew, the 24th chapter, verse, 20, uh, verse 14 say, that if the good news of that kingdom isn't preached, the end does not come? Go back and look at it. It says, without the good news being preached, 
the end does not come. It says that, ladies and gentlemen. I didn't say that. He said that through his son. Well, God and Jesus are the same person. Okay, if God and Jesus are the same person, and like you said, if God and Jesus are the same person, then the whole Bible is a lie. People, God said he was sending his son to the earth. Moses said, the God of the heavens will raise up a prophet like me, and you must listen to him. He said he would raise up a prophet. God can't raise himself up. Go ahead. Uh -uh, uh -uh, Don't say, yes, he could. He could do this and he could do that. Ain't nothing in Scripture saying he can do this and do that. You are imagining that. He didn't say, I'm going to raise myself up. I raised myself up from a, a, a beanstalk. That's right. Ladies and gentlemen, it doesn't make any sense. I, I don't understand where people are getting this junk from. And I call it junk because it doesn't agree with Scripture. Ladies and gentlemen, do yourself on uh, some research on triune gods. Go back and look at the Egyptians, how they worship triune gods. Horus. Isis. Go ahead and do your research and see where the Trinity came from. It was at five, now it's at eight, but it ain't going nowhere. So I got to make sure it's still recording. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, the problem is you guys may not be aware. For the last minute and a half, the system was on pause because of this right here. And I'm hoping that it's recording because it's saying that I'm still connected. But let me pause y'all one last time. Ladies and gentlemen, I have a meeting in about eight minutes. And as you see, that keeps popping up even though it says it's charging. It's not charging. It is a Windows 11 thing. They are going to have to fix that. So many people are having the same problem with Windows 11, the battery not charging when the computer is on. That being the case, let's go ahead and let's have this discussion. Ladies and gentlemen, reversionary interest. It used to be part of 1295, 12 USC 95. Well, 12 USC 95 has been moved to a different section. See, 12 USC 95, emergency limitation, that's been moved here. Okay, but it didn't get rid of everything. Okay, it didn't get rid of everything. 12 U.S.C. 95A, I believe, is still law. Pay attention. 12 U.S.C. 95A is still law. However, it's the gold section of it that has been taken care of. Y'all got to do y'all research. Reversionary interest is the thing. Okay, reversionary interest. 50 U.S.C. Chapter 53 is the Trading with the Enemies Act. But it don't mention, I said it must include reversionary. Want y'all to work on reversionary. Find out what reversionary is. Y'all need to know what reversionary is. It deals with trust, people. Do y'all reversionaries. Got to go, okay? Y'all take care. Got to go. Got to go. <laughs> really got to go. Goodbye.